Okay. Well then, um, by 1985, your uh, nephew Kilo brought over Big Meech and D Meeks, and at that point, there was no Fifty Boys or whatever. And actually, they were brand new. They were okay. very unseasoned in the drug game, right? Okay. Actually, he just brought over Meech. He was cool with Meech. Okay. Derek, Derek, you might want to, you know, we can get into that in a moment. But it, it, first, it was just Meech that approached me. And uh, my uh, uh, my nephew said, uh, man, because uh, I would see Meech on the corner, the next street of where we, uh, where my grandmother lived at and where I, when I came out to Southwest Detroit, where I hung out and, and everything, which was Bassett and Saliet. And the next street over was E Course. And uh, Meech had a girlfriend on uh, 19th Street, and he would be always on that corner of Saliet, which you can see my, my uh, grandmother's house and where we hung out from that corner. And uh, every time I would ride down the street, up and you know, he he would always acknowledge me like, you know, what's up? And I I knew he wasn't from E Course River Ridge. I knew he wasn't from that area because I knew everybody from that area. So he went to uh, Kilo and said, Kilo, man, you know, man, you know, your uncle doing, you know, big. He doing some big shit, man. You know, man, just just let me talk to him, man. Introduce me to him and let him just hear what I got to say. So, after you know, after a while, after he, he kept, you know, like hollering at me, you know, because I, you know, I respected everyone that spoke to me riding down the street, whatever. I, you know, hey, I spoke back to him. And 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 uh, when me when Kilo told me that uh that uh, Meech wanted the, the intro with me, I was said, okay, bring him over. Let me uh, see what he's he talking about the next day. And uh, that's when uh, Meech got on board with me. Okay. And, and it was, was like only 50... Meech. Okay. At the time. And Meech was like 15 years old at the time? Meech was, uh, yeah, Meech was exactly, he was, he was 14, 15 years old. I'm going to say closely to more to 15 years old. Uh, got it. And with Meech, he brought D. Meeks and his brother, Southwest T. Okay. That happened. Okay. When me and Meech had to talk, you know, you know, he, uh, he was talking shit that I wanted to hear. And he was, he was, uh, uh, the shit that I was telling him, you know, he was listening to, and he was coming back with some good shit. So I said, okay, man, look, come back tomorrow and we could do this. So uh, uh, this is when I, I always had this idea of, of, of doing these 50s, okay? Th these 50s was eight balls to motherfuckers. And, and people didn't understand how I could do that. I could do that shit when I'm getting cartel weight, okay? I could do that shit, okay? So I, I broke... Uh, those fifties down, and they was like a balls to everybody. And Meech, I put Meech down with him. The shit got so overwhelming that he said, "Ed man, can I bring my boy Derek Meeks and my brother, you know, into the into the loop?" Right? I said, "Man, well, you know, you the lieutenant of the fifty boys, okay? That's up to you, but." I want to see, I want to meet him first and we go from there. So I did that, met him, and then I told Meech, okay, well, they're your responsibility. Ability. Okay, go ahead, run with it. And therefore, the 50 boys. Got it. So at that point, the 50 boys officially formed. Yes. Okay. And they had the, the 50 boys chains and everything? All that. They had, okay. they, man, I... I groomed them boys so well because when when I got to them, like like we just discussed, they were 14, 15 years old. The the cocaine game was brand new to them. They might, you know, fucked with weed or something, but they didn't even know how to use a triple beam. Cause back then we used triple beams. Okay. And uh they didn't know how to count money. Okay. 
they, they didn't know the game, period. I instilled that game into them boys. That's, you know, I introduced them to that life. And, and, and I introduced them to, and, and back then, and, and when I sold drugs, my platform was family and loyalty and respect. And I instilled that into to them as well. Okay. Did you have a 50 boys chain as well? Or were you kind of a little older and didn't I was didn't really the boss. I didn't need no 50 boy chain. <laughs> right. I figured that. <laughs> I, I, I figured that. 